Hey guys, X60 here, coming to you with part seven of my let of my full play of the indie game Abducted by Sunside Games Incorporated, currently available on Steam in early access. And to those of you who are returning immediately from episode six, I apologize for the cliffhanger. <laughs> so we are attempting to get to a human ship. We have decided we don't trust the arm. Those things want to kill us. Go away. Go away. And there is some creepy thing watching us. Ouch. Human ship. Seem to be the human ship the arm mentioned. It appears decrepit and rusted. The plates are bent and it looks very old. How long has it been here? Probably as long as I've been on the ship. And can't talk to the arm about it. Nope, can't talk to the arm about it. I keep jumping for defender. I mean, I can't even use my shield right now. Wait, what was the top pulse ability? down on pulse reduced to three seconds. Oh. What does the arm have to say? I'm in contact with the Laurentian now. I can tell you a few more things about it. The Laurentian? Yes, that is what it calls itself. The Laurentian is a transport ship with a human crew size of 32 individuals. There are no crew members on board at this time. It appears to be abandoned. What happened to them? I don't know. I will need to get close to the Laurentian main computer to access the Laurentian main computer to access the ship's logs. Assuming that the data is still there, I can retrieve it. How do you know all this so far? Now that we're closer, I'm seeing basic information transmitted by the ship, including its registry and crew count. It also tells me that the ship was doing when and where it was. It's a repeating automated message. I believe that's called a distress signal. Where is the main computer? It is in a, it's in a compartment further down. Keep descending. I'm sure we'll find it. And its history? Laurentian is a transport vessel used for moving people and supplies between nearby worlds. A shuttle. Specifically Mars and Ganymede Station 791. All 32 crew members were on board at the time of capture. There are people on Mars? I don't have that information, but it's a good assumption. Ganymede Station 791. It appears to be where the ship was headed. My information is limited at this point, but it is safe to assume that one of the purposes of the Laurentian was to run supplies from Mars to Ganymede Station 791. What about the name Laurentian? It appears to be a reference to Earth history to a transport vehicle used in an earlier time. That's all I have at this point. I, the name sounds familiar, but I personally can't place it. ship condition. Looking over the side of the ship, you can see just how large it is. The plating is all busted and twisted up, but some parts of the ship look like they might still be in usable condition. Could it be repaired? The question is, will the arm let me? Nope, it's not going to. I could upgrade that now. Uh, but I can't use the shield yet, so I might as well wait. was the first checkpoint. Um, we're four minutes in, so I'm not going to leave you guys just yet. <laughs> Human ship vent markings. The vent markings are in English. They say things like engine coolant and rehydration line. None of these parts appear to have any obvious damage. The ship seems to still be generating breathable atmosphere. Could that be why it's raining? Still can't. I, I gotta stop checking the powers every time. Human ship thrusters. More thrusters over here. There are a lot of supporting valves and pipes underneath, most of them intact. Nope, nothing to ask on. OK, 
Okay. Into the depths, boys and girls. You know, of all the functions that this has, flashlight would be very useful. I could also use ladder. Ladder would be nice. Medical supplies. You have found some drawers here with medical symbols on them. It looks like there are a number of things that might be able to help stabilize you. Let's talk about medical supplies that you found. It looks like some kind of syringe. It's a device that injects a healing fluid outfitted with 22nd century human technology. Nanites directly into your bloodstream. Appears to operate in a universal manner to your species, regardless of your particular genetic variation. It has a near instant healing effect for all but the most fatal wounds and conditions. Most of your symptoms and issues are addressed within a few seconds of the injection, and the rest are improved within minutes. <laughs> it does a better job than I can at confusing and disengaging your pain receptors, meaning that even the damaged tissue that is still affecting you does not register as damage while the rapid healing is happening. The fluid and ants are completely artificial and do not appear to have an expiration. Excellent. Um, I'm guessing I can't keep spares. to activate the computer before we do anything else. Computer log. Appears to be an active si computer system of some kind. Maybe the arm can access it and retrieve the ship's data. Or something bad could happen. Ah! Oh, come on! Okay, fine. Since it won't give me shield, I'm going to have to expend my points on... Yeah, I'm gonna have to spend my points on... Uh... Please be it, please be it. 
Sorry about that, folks. Um, it was a minor glitch in the game. Uh, what you guys missed was a almost human, but clearly not human, creepy shadow thing. Uh, teleport me to a place of white place, uh, the, the white place with the glowing symbols. Um, her freak out, me freak out, and then it sort of like appear like it's gonna go possess her. And then we're back here. So that's what you missed. I apologize for that glitch. Arm is dead. I have power points and powers. Um, oh, uh, but shield is working, so. Let's see what we have. Okay. Blaster, rapid fire mines, and pulse shield. And shield should be automatic, and of course manipulates. So something didn't want me anywhere near the human ship. Back to the glowing polyps. More glowing polyps. Are you more glowing polyps? Okay, I'm gonna call it at the next checkpoint. Okay, I was just here, so it looks like the door is a must. Big C and bricks. Oh, but heck, gets me more points. I'm great at this. I have to quit and retry in the name of more points. And more time. Oh, that's right. Oh, 
come on. I might have to go for solve on this one. But I want my points. And that was just stupid. Paying better attention. <laughs> Last try. Okay, we're solving it. So we have C, bricks, and semi sort of broken, but not really. Big C. Bricks, nope, nope. Bricks. Yeah, my sort of broken but not really. So, some my sort of broken but not really is first. There we go. Uh, power restored in the human ship. Awesome. And that's the checkpoint. And so that is it for this episode of Abducted by Sunside Games Incorporated. Uh, still available on Steam, early access. If you like this video and want to see more, please check out my channel. And if you want to help support my channel, please check out my Patreon and the other links in the description below. There is also, I've been forgetting to say this, a Beam.pro link down there for whenever I'm streaming, so please check that out as well. And yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next vid. Nick60 signing off.